The economic recession of 2007 to 2010 is largely attributed to the subprime mortgage crisis. To expand housing to borrowers who couldn't qualify for traditional fixed-rate mortgages, lenders offered adjustable-rate mortgages to low-income buyers. May a lender knowingly sell a mortgage to a borrower with the knowledge that the buyer won't be able to make the mortgage payments. The Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court addressed this issue in the 2008 case of Commonwealth v. Fremont Investment and Loan. Fremont Investment and Loan sold nearly 15,000 home mortgage loans to Massachusetts homeowners. Approximately 50 to 60 percent of the loans were considered subprime mortgages, which are mortgages given to borrowers at a higher interest rate if the borrowers won't qualify for a mortgage at the prevailing interest rates. A subprime mortgage's higher interest rate helps offset the lender's increased risk of borrower default. Fremont sold a number of adjustable rate mortgages to low-income borrowers. Fremont's adjustable rate mortgages had a lower fixed interest rate for the two to three years of the loan. After the introductory rate period, borrowers' interest rates and mortgage payments increased significantly and varied for the remainder of the mortgage term. To determine whether a borrower qualified for a mortgage, Fremont calculated the borrower's debt-to-income ratio, which represented the borrower's monthly debt obligations, including the mortgage for which they were applying, and their monthly income. Fremont generally wouldn't approve a mortgage for a borrower with a ratio above 50%. However, Fremont's calculations only included ratios based upon the first month's mortgage payment and not the subsequent month's higher mortgage payments. Fremont also offered loans with no down payment. Fremont would finance the full value of the property for such loans, which created a loan-to-value ratio of nearly 100%. A number of Fremont's borrowers defaulted on their mortgage payments. The Commonwealth of Massachusetts brought a consumer protection enforcement action against Fremont for originating and servicing subprime mortgages. The enforcement action claimed that Fremont acted unfairly in violation of Massachusetts law. The Massachusetts Attorney General sought a preliminary injunction to prevent Fremont from foreclosing on the affected mortgages, which the trial court granted. Fremont appealed to the Massachusetts Supreme Judicial Court.